Jalbum is not only a web gallery maker, it is also a tool to organize your image files. Here I have a folder of images. The ordinary way of working is to add copies to Jalbum. So you copy some images like this, with a simple drag and drop operation. Jalbum will propose a name coming from the folder name of the original images. Whatever we do now is in a separate box, so to speak. The location of these images is highlighted up here, and it's different to this folder. So whatever I do inside Jalbum now is safe from the hard disk original location. If I delete those images, you can see that they are still intact on disk here. The downside with copies is that you, of course, have twice the disk space. So to avoid that, you can add images with a linking option. Let's select these images and add them. And select link instead. Now you see that there are small arrows here, indicating that these are links. Again, whatever I do with these images uh, won't affect the original images. However, if I delete an original image here, it won't work anymore inside Jalbum. The link will be broken. So the links has the advantage of saving disk space, and of course allowing you to modify the original images in the original location and have Jalbum pick up the changes. Uh, and uh, the downside is of course that if you move links uh, or move original images around, the links will be broken. But whatever you do inside Jalbum here is local to Jalbum. So if I relocate these uh, images, it doesn't affect the orig original images. There's also a third way of working, which uh, is very convenient to organize existing images on disk. So instead of moving the images to Jalbum, you move Jalbum to the images. To do that, first close the current album project, and then drag and drop the folder itself. Jalbum will now present you with a third option, which is the Use Folder option. Using it, you see that the address here now reflects the original image location. Now, whatever I do inside here will actually reflect these original images on disk. So if I delete this image, for instance, you will see how it's being deleted from, from disk here. So likewise, if I delete, uh, for instance, this uh, beach image, it goes away, away from Jalbum 2. And this way of working not only saves disk space, but allows you to work with the files straight on your disk in the structure you have, or create a whole new structure. It might be that you are not happy with the existing hard disk structure. In my case, we've had uh, thousands of images spanning eight years in a mess on a network drive. And with Jabon 13, you can now organize all those images into neat folder structures based on date and location, for instance. Let's demonstrate that.